Hi everyone and welcome to Coffee with My Sunshine. If you'd like to see how I made these craft projects, then please keep watching. So today's video is part of the Rainbow Challenge and this was a challenge put together by Kat from According to Kat and she got us friends all together and um, we all got a color that we had to use in all of our crafts today. So if you'd like to see how I used indigo, then please keep watching. For my first project, I am doing kind of like a watercolor painting and I'm using a scrapbook piece of paper, a frame that I got from Goodwill a long time ago. And this was my practice piece, which I did on um, really crappy paper. And I wish I didn't because I like that one better than the ones I end up doing on the scrapbook paper. But this is the paint I'm going to be using. It's in the color indigo. So I'm going to start with the paper and put the frame um, or the matting over the scrapbook paper that way I keep the flower in frame I guess so because this challenge takes us all out of our comfort zone as far as color goes I thought I would just completely go out of my comfort zone and try and paint <laughs> I'm not much of a freehand painter I never have been uh, my daughter is really good at it my mom is really good at it but I'm just not so this is kind of a practice round for me I did a couple the other night just to see how I liked it. So this may be a very slow and painful video for you guys to watch if you're painters because like I said, I'm not very good. So the girls that were chosen for this challenge are so talented and, and we're actually all friends and we just, we love working together. So be sure if you're not part of their channels, if you're not subscribed to them, go check them out after you're done watching my video. You will love them, I promise. And it's just going to be a fun challenge because there's tons of color and tons of inspiration for home decor. I will have the playlist listed in my description box as well as their channels. So I did two flowers because I wasn't super happy with the first one and I just wanted to kind of try a different way of painting with the watercolors on my second flower. And I'll admit, I thought watercolors would be easy, and they are easy to use. They're just, it's not as easy as the artists make it look. <laughs> And this is how they turned out. I'll probably keep trying and keep practicing just until I get better because it's kind of fun. It's like, I don't know, fun to see what you come up with. So for this next one, I am taking this plastic container and this is just going to be my base for the concrete and I've seen these like crock type um, planters I guess at um, thrift stores and antique stores and I just love them I like the um, two-toned 
lightness to them. <laughs> so I wanted to make my own. I thought it would be fun. So I just mixed up some concrete and I'm going to use the insert that was in the plastic container as like the, um, I don't know, I guess part of the mold. It didn't end up working. I had to stick a plastic jug in there because the cardboard just didn't hold as well as I thought it would. But I basically did the same step that I'm doing here with the plastic jug. And then after it dried, I just cut the plastic away and then had to kind of work at getting the jug out of the center, but it ended up working great. I, it did end up cracking a piece of the concrete, but, and I was a little bit frustrated with it at first, but then I thought those are the ones I'm usually drawn to at like the antique stores or thrift stores, the ones that look like they've been used and worn a little bit. So I thought I would just roll with it. So after I got the jug out, I'm just giving it a good sanding around the edges. And then I'm using this indigo paint that I got from Lowe's and I picked it up because, you know, because we're not going into stores right now. So it was like a pickup order. And the color was indigo, but online, but I don't know, it looks lighter to me. It looks like just blue. But I'm going to go with it anyway. And <laughs> funny story, I had it on my counter after I bought it. And it got knocked off and just broke the lid and everything. And it went all over my kitchen. But it was fairly easy to clean up. So that's good because I have white cabinets and wood floors. and But it was okay. <laughs> so that's why the bottle looks kind of like a disaster. So yeah, I was just going for the two-toned look. That's why I only painted part way down. And then I painted um, most of the way down in the middle. And here's what it looks like. I don't know if I will be putting it outside or inside, but either way, I like how it turns out. And it's just, I guess, a different shade of indigo. For this next one, my husband, who is the best, <laughs> Um, it helped me on this. It was 9 o'clock, 9.30 at night, and I asked him for help, so he set up the saw outside so that I could make these chevron arrows. I'm probably kind of behind the times, but I saw these when I was scrolling through um, Pinterest, and they were from Amazon, so I wanted to try and make them myself. And because I didn't have any more indigo paint or different colors of indigo, I'm just going to make my own. I looked up how to make indigo <laughs> and they suggested a blue, a purple, and black. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm just painting one in the indigo and one in white and also using the wood technique or the faux wood technique that I've been showing you in a couple other videos where I take a baby wipe with just regular paint and then a smear it on the wood and you can layer it to make it look like, like actual wood. That way you're not smelling up your house with stain. And then I gave them a little bit of um, 
a sanding just to get a distressed look and that's it I'm super happy with how it turned out you can hang them on like a plaque you can hang them just directly on the wall however you want to style them I hope you guys enjoyed these projects don't forget to check out all the ladies that joined in on this rainbow challenge I know you will love all their projects thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time bye